Hey there, Rub -dub Subs, it's Black Metal Werewolf making a brand new video for you this week. And today we are going to be doing another opening of the Metalhead Box. The lovely people over at the Metalhead Box were nice enough to send me one to open on camera for your viewing pleasure. I am pretty excited about this box because this is the November box, which means that this is the two year anniversary of the Metalhead Box. I don't know if they really had anything special planned for it, but I'm pretty excited to crack this open and see all the cool metal stuff that comes inside. Alrighty, so right from the get-go, it looks like we have another set of pins. And these are pretty awesome. So with this box, we get two pins, a Mayhem pin and a Candlemas pin. Two awesome bands that I very much enjoy, and I'm sure plenty of people watching this enjoy them too. That's another cool addition to add on to my battle vests. Awesome, I love that. Alright, after those awesome pins, it looks like we got ourselves a t-shirt. Alright, what do we have here? Oh, nice. This one comes with an Emperor shirt. It's cool to finally get some Emperor merch in there, because I'm a gigantic fan of Emperor, I'm sure a lot of black metal heads are, so that's very awesome. And this one also has a design on the back. So it's cool to see that uh, the Metalhead box is kind of stepping up their game more with uh, the t-shirts and everything. We're getting different colors, more designs on it, so I really like that. And I can't wait to wear this, because Emperor is just such a badass band. Alrighty, after the t-shirt we got some CDs. We have the first one here. Hellsot. Probably pronounced that wrong, who cares anymore. <laughs> Pagan death metal warriors Hellsot return with their uh, fiery new collection of epic battle hymns. Mixed and mastered by... Uh, I don't really care. A seen on tour with Azenfurum, Tior, Trollfest, Hyvolk, and Arcona. Alright, that seems something very up my alley. Can't wait to listen to that. Uh, Hellsot. Next, we have The Bleeding, Rites of Absolution. I believe I've heard of The Bleeding before, but I can't say I've ever actually sat down and listened to them. But it's cool now that I have one of their albums so I can listen to that. And after that we have... Uh, Bane. Esoteric Formula, or Formulaea, however you want to say it. Uh, never, wanted, never heard of Bane before, but that's a very cool name. Uh, the I really like the track listings here, Into Oblivion, uh, Burning the Remains, Reign of Chaos, Reign and Chaos. Ah, that sounds pretty cool and up my alley. So I can't wait to listen to those albums. More metal goodness coming in the Metalhead box. So after those CDs, looks like we have a hat in here, or a toque. Well, I suppose in Canada we call them toques, everywhere else they call them beanies. So this is a Dark Throne hat, an FOAD hat. Um, I believe I got an FOAD patch before in one of the Metalhead boxes. Either way, that's still pretty cool. Though I'm not much of a hat person, this will be cool to rep Dark Throne during the winter months. Alrighty, after the hat, it looks like we got a patch, and that's pretty cool, a Metalhead box patch. It's cool they got their own design, put it on a patch so I can throw that on my jacket or battle vest or whatever. So another cool little trinket to get from the Metalhead box. I like before when they sent a pin, and I threw that on my vest, and people always ask me about it. So I can throw that on there and uh, kind of rep the Metalhead box some more. They definitely deserve it. So after that, it looks like we are down to the final item in the box, which is a Glenn Drover autograph. Uh, I love Glenn Drover, mostly because he worked with King Diamond, and I'm just a gigantic King Diamond fan. So anything related to King Diamond, I'm happy to have in my collection. So I'm very happy to have another cool autograph to add to my collection from the Metalhead box. So that appears to be everything that came in the Metalhead box for the month of November 2018, and always I'm quite tickled pink about it. I absolutely love these pins. I can't get enough of them. I love collecting them, and uh, having them come in the box every month is just so cool. I know the Metalhead box sends me a box for free to open every month, but if I didn't get them for free, I would want to get this box like for these pins and the shirts and everything. It's just so cool, and I absolutely love it. Uh, they're, they're a fun little thing to collect. Uh, maybe some people don't get that, but hey, I'm, I'm a big fan of it. Uh, I like the patch. It's a cool little thing to advertise them on your own vest, you know. The t-shirts are getting better and better. I can't wait, uh, can't wait to listen to those albums and another cool autograph. So obviously I'm a very big fan of this box, but I'd like to get your guys' opinion. Did you like this month's box? Did you not like it? Leave me a comment letting me know. I'm sure the people over at the Metalhead box would love to know too. As always, I want to extend a very big thank you to everybody over at the Metalhead Box who were nice enough to send me another box to open on camera. It's always such a pleasure getting these to open, and uh, I just can't appreciate it enough, you know. Of course, if you want to get your very own Metalhead Box, I always suggest jumping on it sooner rather than later, because these tend to sell out pretty quickly, and you don't want to miss out on all the cool stuff that comes inside. Of course, I'll be leaving a link to their uh, official website, their Facebook page, and their Instagram down in my description, so you guys can go check them out yourself. There is one thing I want to bring up that I always forget to mention in all my Metalhead Box videos, and that is a lot of people don't know that there's actually a Metalhead Box trade group on Facebook. So I guess it's for fans of the box that, uh, you know, if they get a CD they don't particularly want or they already have, they can go on there and say, hey, I got this. 
um, I'm willing to trade for whatever you may have got that I want. So I'll be putting the link to that down in the description too. So if you guys want to get in on the trade group and maybe swap some of the things you got, um, you know, that'd be pretty cool. I kind of think that it uh, harkens back to the day of tape trading through magazines, but now it's just like metalhead box swap group. So um, I think it's a pretty cool idea and uh, I think a lot of people would find that interesting in case you may have gotten something you didn't particularly want and you saw that someone got something that you may have wanted a lot more. So that's it for today's video. If you like what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment letting me know what you thought of today's video. Check out some of my past videos and share them with a few of your friends while you're at it. If you want to keep up with me on a more daily basis, you can follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. I also have a P.O. box open. All of that info is down in the description. I also have a handful of patches left for sale, so if you'd like to get your very own, you can click right over here. There's also a link down in the description. Once again, a very big thank you to the people over at the Metalhead Box, and of course a very big thank you to you, the viewer, for checking out my video. And don't forget guys, to stay brutal.